Number 10, PNB Rock. The rapper and singer was tragically murdered on the 12th of September after he was shot while dining at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in LA with his girlfriend. LAPD captain Kelly Muniz told the Times later that day that the intruder shot the victim and ran out the side door to a getaway car and then fled the parking lot. The attacker first demanded jewelry and other valuables before getting into a struggle with the rapper and opening fire. Rock, whose real name was Rakeem Allen, was rushed to the hospital where he died just before 2 p.m. While the attack might have been planned, many people believe it occurred as a result of the rapper being tagged online, as his exact location was shared on the internet via Instagram by his girlfriend just minutes before he was attacked. Born on the 9th of December in 1991, Rock was inspired to make music at age 19, after hearing Drake's iconic album Take Care. His ability to blend melodies with his rapping made his future in hip hop extremely promising, and it wasn't long before he captured the world's attention with his musical talent. His murder was a sense tragedy and is still under investigation right now. Loving this video so far? Please hit that like button, it would really help us out. Number 9, Ray Liotta. Deadline reported on May the 26th that the Goodfellas star had passed away in his sleep at the age of 67, leaving behind his daughter Carson and his fiance JC. Ray's last post on Instagram has since been flooded with rest in peace messages from fans. The New Jersey native was born in 1954 and adopted at the age of 6 months old out of an orphanage. Interesting Interestingly enough, he always assumed that he was Italian, but when he found his birth parents later in life, he discovered that he's actually Scottish. But he did do an impeccable job playing a lot of Italian American characters throughout his career, with his breakout role being in the 1990 Martin Scorsese crime classic Goodfellas. Ray's acting career also had a big resurgence in recent years, with films like The Many Saints of Newark, Marriage Story, and No Sudden Move. He won a Primetime Emmy in 2005 for his guest stint on ER, and was a two-time SAG award nominee for the 2015 miniseries Texas Rising, so he leaves behind an incredible legacy. Number 8, Queen Elizabeth II. She was a reigning monarch of the United Kingdom and 15 other Commonwealth realms. She died on September the 8th at the age of 96. Her coronation took place on June the 2nd, 1953 at Westminster Abbey and for the first time ever was televised, allowing people around the world to witness the event. The Queen's 70 year reign was mostly peaceful, despite vast changes across her country over the decades. Queen Elizabeth surpassed her great-great-grandmother Queen Victoria to become the longest living British monarch on December the 21st of 2007 and has been portrayed many times in pop culture. Buckingham Palace released a statement confirming her passing, saying the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The news was shocking to the world as Elizabeth has been around for almost everybody's lifetime and was revered around the world, even outlasting 12 US presidents. She was a tremendously popular and influential figure in her lifetime and stood for stability and order of the crown. Her son, formerly known as Prince Charles, has now stepped up and taken the throne as Britain's new reigning monarch. In our seventh spot, we have Robert Johnson. Now, there's a wild legend surrounding legendary blues singer Robert Johnson. It's said that he sold his soul to the devil at a local crossroads to become successful. I guess the only catch was he was going to die early on in life. On August 16th, 1938, he mysteriously passed away. Now I say mysteriously because there's no official cause of death. His death was not reported publicly, and then 30 years later, a man named Gail Dean Wardlow, who was a musicologist, decided to look into his death. That's when he found his death certificate, but it only had a date and location, no official cause of death. Now some say he died after drinking whiskey laced with strychnine, which is a very, very strong poison and only a small amount is needed to kill or wound someone. Others say he died from pneumonia. In our sixth spot today, we have Brian Jones. Born in 1942, Brian Jones is the original founder and leader of the Rolling Stones. He was the one that apparently formed the band and named it and even chose the members of the band and what music they played. So he had a huge impact on this band. Bassist Bill Wyman said, and I quote, he got us gigs, he was very influential, very important, and then slowly lost it and just kind of wasted it and blew it all away. Eventually, Jones started to turn to alcohol and drugs, which led him to have nasty mood swings and developing depression. On July 3rd of 1969, he was found at the bottom of his swimming pool. Apparently, his cause of death was by misadventure. So maybe he was very drunk or very high and stumbled into his pool and wasn't able to get back out. 
Others, on the other hand, believe that he was murdered. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Anton Yelchin. Anton Yelchin was an American actor. You might recognize him from the Star Trek movie series or from the movie Green Room. Either way, he was a great actor gone far too soon. And the way he left this world was quite dramatic. So on June 19th, 2016, he got out of his Jeep while in his driveway of his house when the car rolled backwards, pinning him against a brick pillar and his fence. By the time his friend found him, he had already passed away. He died from blunt traumatic asphyxia. In our fourth spot today, we have Thuy Trang. Thuy Trang was a Vietnamese American actress known for her role as the Yellow Power Ranger in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. After that, she went on to star in The Crow, City of Angels, and Spy Hard. It would have been nice to see what else her career had for her. Sadly, on September 3rd, 2001, while on her way to her friend's wedding, in which she was a bridesmaid, the driver lost control of the car. It swerved off the road and crashed into a rock face. She died shortly after the crash. Number three, Anne Hesch. The actress rose to prominence on the soap opera Another World, and she passed away at 53 after being involved in a fiery single car crash in LA on August the 5th. According to a coroner's report, Anne died from smoke inhalation and burns. She was in a coma for a week before being taken off life support on August the 14th. News of her car accident and subsequent death really shook Hollywood to its core, as Anne was much beloved in the industry. Her peers came forward recalling her contract contributions to not only cinema, but to the LGBTQ plus community. Director Nathan Scoggins, who worked with her in one of her last films, said, Anne held nothing back in life or in performance. She was fearless, going too far in some takes just to make sure she went far enough. But you can't love without trust, and she loved with her whole heart. Anne had famously dated Ellen DeGeneres, who expressed her sadness at her ex-girlfriend's passing, and tweeted, This is a sad day. I'm sending Anne's children, family, and friends all of my love. Number two, Tony Sirico. The New York native, best known for playing Tony Soprano's associate Paulie Walnuts on The Sopranos, died on the 8th of July at the age of 79. His former co-star Michael Imperioli wrote a loving message about his friend on Instagram, saying, He was as tough, as loyal, and as big-hearted as anyone I've ever known. I was at his side through so much, through good times and bad, but mostly good, and we had a lot of laughs. I will miss him forever, he is truly irreplaceable. Tony had an incredible career, but he really rose to fame for his portrayal trail of Polly on the hit series The Sopranos. His character was a loyal henchman for mob boss Tony Soprano, played by James Gandolfini. And even though the show was known for its unflinching depiction of violence, Polly quickly became a fan favorite for adding moments of humor throughout the grim drama. His talents will certainly be missed. And coming in at number one, Jesse Powell. The Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter has died at the age of 51, as his family announced on the 13th of September. According to his sisters Trina and Tamara Powell, Jesse passed away peacefully in his LA home. They released a statement saying, It is with a heavy heart that we announce the passing of our beloved son, brother, and uncle Jesse Powell. The family remembered him as a man who loved music and was devoted to his fans. The statement concluded with, We want you to know that you meant the world to him. Born in Gary, Indiana, the beloved artist was raised in a musical family that included his two younger sisters, who eventually became the popular late 90s R&B duo. Jesse himself became an overnight sensation in 1999 upon the release of his R&B track, You. The song cracked the second spot on the Billboard R&B chart and peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 at the time. He went on to release four albums throughout his career. Jesse was certainly one of the best R&B male vocalists in the industry, and he'll be remembered for his music. In at number 10, Meatloaf. One of the recent celebrity deaths that we've experienced this year shook a lot of rock fans. Legendary rocker and actor Meatloaf sadly passed away this year on January 21st at the age of 74. Sources said that the rocker passed away surrounded by family and friends, including his wife Deborah and daughters Pearl and Amanda. Meatloaf's career spent over six decades and included the release of hit music and movies like Fight Club, Focus, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Wayne's World, personal favorite of mine. His 1977 album Bad Out of Hell still remains one of the top 10 selling albums of all time. Over the course of his career, Meatloaf sold over 100 million albums worldwide and starred in over 65 movies. When news of his passing broke, Meatloaf's agent released a statement to the public saying, quote, Our hearts are broken to announce that the incomparable Meatloaf passed away tonight, surrounded by his wife, daughters, and close friends. We know how much he meant to so many of you, and we truly appreciate all the love and support as we move through this time of grief and losing such an inspiring artist and a beautiful man. We thank you for understanding of our need of privacy at this time. From his heart to your souls, don't ever stop rocking. 
In at number 9, Louis Anderson. Also on the 21st, comedian Louis Anderson passed away at the age of 68. His death came shortly after it was announced to the public that Louis had been admitted to the hospital to undergo treatment for diffuse large B cell lymphoma, an aggressive type of blood cancer. Louis had quite a successful career in comedy, being first catapulted to fame in 1984 when he made his first TV appearance as a stand-up comedian on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Many may know Louis from starring in films like Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Coming to America, and for his work in television, having been part of the animated show Life with Louis as the host of Family Feud, and for his Emmy award-winning performance in Baskets. Before we go on to the next, make sure to give this video a like. And at number 8, Manfred Terry Mugler. Sadly, on January 23rd at the age of 7, legendary fashion designer Terry Mugler passed away. He rose to fame in the 1980s while working on his fashion collection for men and later went on to become internationally adored by men and women for his unique looks. Mugler retired in the early 2000s, however he came back to dress Kim Kardashian for the Met Gala in 2019. That year the theme was camp, and Kim said she did not think any other designer would do it justice. He was known for show-stopping looks he created for the likes of Madonna, Lady Gaga, and Cardi B. His passing was announced on his Instagram. His account posted a black square with the caption announcing the news. The caption read in part, quote, May his soul rest in peace. It did not give any details on the cause of his death. Kim Kardashian posted a touching tribute on her Instagram, writing, quote, Manfred Terry Mugler, my heart breaks. There's no one like you. Your vision, your transformations, your magic. I am so honored to have known you, spend time with you, and be a muse for you. Number seven, Ivana Trump. The Czech American ex wife of former President Donald Trump died on July 14th at the age of 73. Paramedics were called to the Upper East Side home over a report of cardiac arrest, but her official cause of death has not yet been confirmed. Ivana married the former US president in 1977, and they went on to have three children together their daughter, Ivanka, and sons, Eric and Don Jr. Although the couple divorced in 1992, Ivana kept her ex-husband's surname. Trump took to social media to pay tribute to her passing and wrote, I am very saddened to inform all those that loved her, of which there are many, that Ivana Trump has passed away at her home in New York City. She was a wonderful, beautiful, and amazing woman who led a great and inspirational life. Eric Trump wrote on Instagram that his mother was a force in business, a world-class athlete, a radiant beauty, and a caring mother and friend. Number 6, Teddy Ray. The actor and comedian who was featured on MTV's Messiness and HBO's Pause with Sam J passed away on August the 12th at the age of 32. The rising comedic star appeared in a number of TV shows, shorts, and stand-up specials, including Comedians and Cocktails, How to Be Broke, BSU, Black Student Union, and All Deaf Comedy, among many others. He most recently served as co-host of the ridiculousness spin-off Messiness alongside Snooki, Tori Spelling, and Adam Rippin. All Deaf original, who Ray frequently collaborated with, wrote via Instagram, All Death family, we're heartbroken and still cannot believe that our brother Teddy Ray has passed away. Teddy was the kindest person you would ever meet. He was always smiling, he had a natural ability to make anyone laugh in any situation, and his laugh was infectious. To know Teddy was to love him. Teddy is a great one and a legend at All Death. We will miss him every day, but we know that heaven will be laughing. Number 5, Olivia Newton-John. The Grease star died on August the 8th after a 30-year battle with breast cancer. The English Australian singer's death at 73 years old was confirmed by her husband, John Easterling. Olivia Newton-John was best known for her portrayal of Sandy in the iconic 1978 musical Grease alongside John Travolta. Her breathy voice and wholesome beauty made her one of the biggest pop stars of the 70s. She was an incredibly talented singer first and foremost, and sold more than 100 million records over the course of her career, with hits like I Honestly Love You, Hopelessly Devoted to You, and Physical. But behind the curtain of her star-studded life, her her health started to deteriorate rapidly. In 2018, Olivia revealed that she was treating cancer at the base of her spine. It was her third cancer diagnosis following bouts of breast cancer in the early 90s and in 2017. She eventually became a fierce advocate in the fight against the disease and founded the Olivia Newton-John Cancer and Wellness Center in Melbourne. Number 4, Denise Douse. The Beverly Hills 90210 star died at the age of 64 after being hospitalized for meningitis, which left her in a coma. Denise 
was well known for her portrayal of Miss Yvonne Teasley on the iconic teen drama 90210 and for playing Dr. Rhonda Pine on HBO's Insecure, among a number of other roles in TV and films. The late actress's sister, Tracy Douse, wrote via Instagram on August the 13th, I want to take this moment to thank our friends and family for all the love and the prayers. It is with a very heavy heart that I inform everyone that my sister, Denise Douse, has gone forward to meet our family in eternal life. Denise Yvonne Douse was the most amazing sister, a consummate, illustrious actress, mentor and director. She was my very best friend and my final family member. Denise loved all of you and I know that she's watching over us with all the love that she has. I ask for privacy and your continued prayers. In at number 3, Adalia Rose Williams. YouTuber Adalia Rose Williams sadly passed away at the age of 15 on January 14th of 2022. As a baby, Williams was diagnosed with hutchinson guilford prograrius syndrome, a rare and fatal genetic condition that rapidly increases the appearance of aging. But that did not stop her from doing what she loved, sharing her life with her millions of fans on YouTube. Her passing was announced on her Instagram page. The caption read, quote, Adelia Rose Williams was set free from this world. She came into it quietly and left quietly, but her life was far from it. She touched millions of people and left the biggest imprint in everyone that she knew. She's no longer in pain and is now dancing away to all the music that she loves. Williams had almost 3 million subscribers on YouTube, posting makeup tutorials, dancing videos, and video showcasing her apartment. Her first video was made 9 years ago, and she'd been gaining a following ever since. Williams lived a full life, considering the average age span of someone with her disease is 13 years. In at number 2, Gaspard Ulliel. The French actor died tragically in a skiing incident on January 19th. He was just 37 years old at the time of his death. The model and actor was rushed to hospital in a serious condition after the skiing incident, but sadly he was not able to recover from his injuries. Ulia collided with another skier at a resort in the French Alps, officials say. He was then transported to a hospital where he died from his injuries. The other skier was not hospitalized. He is best known for playing a young Hannibal Lecter in Hannibal Rising, along with playing Yves Saint Laurent in the 2007 biopic about the fashion icon. He had just filmed Marvel's upcoming Moon Knight series, which he will still appear in. And finally at number 1, Betty White. Now she didn't technically die in 2022, but it was the last day of 2021 and her passing shook so many people so I thought she deserved to be on this list. On December 31st of 2021, iconic Hollywood actress Betty White passed away in her sleep at the age of 99, just a few weeks before her 100th birthday. Betty was a familiar face on many shows like The Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Golden Girls, and I Love Lucy. Her career spanned many decades and she was successful in everything that she was a part of. Other than her work in the entertainment industry, Betty was also known for her charity work with animals, having been an activist for many years. Though she sadly passed away just shortly before her centennial birthday, Betty's family said in a statement that they don't think she was worried about dying because she longed to be reunited with her husband once again. In their statement they said, quote, I don't think Betty ever feared passing because she always wanted to be with her most beloved husband, Alan Ludden. She believed she would be with him again. Starting off this countdown, we have Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain was a singer-songwriter for Nirvana. Sadly, he had an ongoing struggle with addiction and depression. As a result, he tried to take his life a number of times. He finally managed to do so in 1994. After skipping out of a Los Angeles rehab facility where he was trying to get over his addiction, he flew home to Seattle and shot himself in the head. He died on April 5th of 1994. His last words were found in his final note. In the note, he quoted Neil Young's lyrics and said, it's better to burn out than fade away. Moving on at number nine, we have Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison was the vocalist of the legendary rock band The Doors. In fact, he is said to be one of the most iconic people in rock and roll history. In July of 1971, Jim was in Paris with Pamela Corson, his partner at the time. On July 3rd, 1971, Pamela found him dead in the bathtub. The cause of death was said to be heart failure, but an autopsy was never performed on him. That's because they were in French territory and the French police found no evidence of foul play. So no autopsy was done. So it means his cause of death could have been something else entirely. In fact, Pamela thinks he died from a heroin overdose since he inhaled it thinking it was coke. Whereas Marianne Faithful thinks her her boyfriend killed him, making it murder. That's why there's so many conspiracies surrounding his death. And honestly, we might never know his real cause of death. 
In our eighth spot today, we have Janis Joplin. Janis Joplin is said to be one of rock's biggest pioneers. She had some pretty iconic songs like Cry Baby and Peace of My Heart. And she was another artist with such a unique voice. Sadly, on October 4th, 1970, Janis was found dead of a suspected heroin overdose in her Hollywood hotel room. She was found after failing to show for a scheduled recording session. Now, there were efforts made to get her into rehab, but sadly, there wasn't much success there. When she was found, she apparently was clutching her cigarettes in one hand and her money in the other. And at number seven, Andre Leon Talley. Andre Leon Talley passed away on January 19th, 2022. He was known as a larger than life personality in the fashion industry, breaking the glass ceiling as he was a black man in a predominantly white industry. He was 73 at the time of his death and he passed away in White Plains, New York. His death was in a hospital after a series of health struggles confirmed by his friend Darren Walker, the president of the Ford Foundation. A statement read, quote, Andre Leon Talley was a singular force in an industry that he had to fight to be recognized in. Mr. Walker also called him a creative genius and noting his ability to shape a persona for himself out of a deep academic understanding of fashion and design. His passing was confirmed on his Instagram page and at the time no cause of death was given. However, later when Vogue posted their obituary, they revealed the cause of death was a heart attack. And at number six, Bob Saget. The world was heartbroken on January 10th when it was revealed that Bob Saget had passed away at the age of 65. The comedian best known for the role of Danny Tanner was currently on a comedy tour at the time of his death. In a statement, his family said, quote, we are devastated to confirm that our beloved Bob Saget passed away today. He was everything to us and we want you to know how much he loved his fans, performing live and bringing people from all walks of life together with laughter. Saget was found dead in his hotel room at the Ritz Carlton in Orlando, Grand Lakes, according to a statement from the Orange County Sheriff's Office. There was no indication of foul play or substance use. He was in Florida for a comedy tour taking place across the country. Days later, TMZ reported that the medical examination is leaning towards a heart attack or a stroke as a cause of his death. But we will have to wait 10 to 12 weeks for it to be officially confirmed. Halfway number five, Sydney Portier. Legendary actor Sydney Portier passed away on January 6th of 2022 at the age of 94 years old. He passed in his home in Beverly Hills, LA. Portier was known for his groundbreaking achievement of being the first black man to win an Oscar for Best Actor in 1964. He won the Oscar for his role in the 1963 movie, Lilies of the Field. Throughout his career, Portier received two more Oscar nominations, 10 Golden Globe nominations, two Emmy nominations, six BAFTA nominations, and one SAG nomination. Before his death, he was the oldest surviving male Academy Award winner. Portier's cause of death was a combination of heart failure, Alzheimer's disease, and prostate cancer, according to a death certificate obtained by TMZ. His family revealed that he'd been struggling for a long time and they're happy that he is now at peace. In at number four, Jordan Cashmire. The 16 and pregnant star passed away on January 16th at the age of 26. Jordan, her boyfriend Derek Taylor, and their daughter Evie appeared on MTV's 16 and pregnant back in 2014. The young parent's heartbreaking story played out on the show as they were homeless while Jordan was preparing to give birth. Her mother revealed the news in a statement she wrote to Facebook. Quote, last night I received a call that no parent ever wants. My oldest beloved daughter, Jordan, has passed away. She was only 26 years old. Our hearts are truly broken. Cashmire had struggled with addictions in the past, but prior to her passing, it was believed that she was sober, as she had celebrated her year of sobriety in January of 2021. As of now, her cause of death has not been revealed, and it's not clear if her family knows the cause of death or not. In our third spot today, we have Aaron Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez was an American football player in the NFL for three seasons. However, in 2013, he was arrested for the death of his friend, Odin Lloyd. In the end, he was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison without parole. On April 19th, 2017, while in jail, Hernandez took his own life. But before doing so, he apparently cut his finger and wrote John 316 on the wall with his own blood. He also wrote it on his forehead as well. Now, John 3.16 said that God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall never die, but have eternal life. Not only that, but another report said that he drew an unfinished pyramid with the all-seeing eye on the wall as well. So, it's a little creepy. I don't know why he did that. It's open to interpretation. Maybe he was a part of the Illuminati. In our second spot, we have Amy Winehouse. Born in 1983, Amy Winehouse was another very talented musician. 
Her voice was incredible. It was so unique and raw. But Amy sadly suffered from an alcohol addiction. On July 23rd, 2011, Amy passed away from accidental alcohol poisoning, which took many by surprise because they thought that she had kicked the habit and she was turning her life around. Her body was found by her bodyguard. The bodyguard found her laying in the same position as she was a couple hours prior. So when he checked on her, that's when he knew that she had gone. And in our number one spot today, we have Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix will be remembered as one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Sadly, he also struggled with alcohol and abuse. On September 18th, 1970, Jimmy mixed alcohol with several other types of narcotics, which he had done before and he had lived. But this day, he mixed alcohol with sleeping pills and he took way too many. Apparently, he took nine. As a result, he passed out, but not before vomiting. He ended up choking on his own vomit and sadly died. His death was ruled accidental. <laughs> We'll be right